come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, where a movie talk show podcast comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest for total world domination, which you can help us out with by hitting that like or subscribe button, because all of those clicks help us get found by other folks like you and rise through the algorithms to become the fastest growing movie talk podcast in the galaxy. All these, those things. All of them. These are the internet radio superstars. Michaela. Holly. Sean. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Sean. What did we watch tonight? 1988's Star Body Health Spa. Death Spa. <laughs> Death Spa. <laughs> Death Spa. Directed by... Michael Fisher. Do we know this man? <laughs> <sighs> I don't know if you know him. I'm going to list you. He didn't direct many movies, mm, but what shocking. he did, this was his first one. Shocking. Okay, justice for Michael Fisher. This is a pretty good first yeah, movie. Yeah, this is yeah. a good debut, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, Well, I mean, wait. we'll get into that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 1989's My Mom's a Werewolf. Uh, right. That's been oh, on my list for a while. Okay. That, also a PG movie. There you go. Yeah. Uh, next was Crack House of, in the same <laughs> year. In 1992, Delta Heat, uh, starring Anthony Edwards. Oh, <laughs> you wow. make what you want of that. Okay. Uh, so, you, so you're telling me this man is an auteur? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm hearing more reasons <laughs> right? to keep watching his uh, movies. Uh, then in 2009, uh, Dead Time Stories Volume oh, 1. Oh, oh uh -huh. he took Dead a big Time break, Stories huh? Volume 2. Yes, he did. Uh, he had... Uh, short, but other than that, from 1992 on, yeah, he got back with that. White Screech <laughs> in 2013. Is that a biopic about Dustin Diamond? I mean, it could be, right? <laughs> uh, hopped Up, Fr Friedlich Droge. I have no idea you're you're making And his last one there. in 2014, Rice Girl. Oh, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> Sounds vaguely no, racist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the don't. cover's not going <laughs> to... Not helping? Not helping. Wait. It's got a Pat Morita lookalike in it. Wow. This is not helping. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Getting, this is... It's getting worse. <laughs> yep. That's not... That, that is Pat Morita. I'm Quit. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> let's see the, very, let's see the I'm poster very, very art. I'm sorry. There's a, lift, there's a lift going here, but it's not John. <laughs> what? Wow. Wait, there's other lift goes? <laughs> right? I didn't know he had... Oh, zip, no. That yeah, was racist this as is, fuck. Yeah. That's not good. Martin Cove. Joe Estevez. We went too deep. We should have stopped scrolling. Yeah, I was going to say, we, we've accessed something we shouldn't have accessed. Yeah. Okay, well, so there you go. Well, your phone's tainted now, so... so yeah. it's been busy. <laughs> Coming that. to the freak show. <laughs> yep. So this is a uh, death spa, not killer workout, and a.k.a. Not, aerobicide. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right, so you can go back and check that episode out. Compare and contrast. Yeah, because mm -hmm. yeah, this was one that you like looked up after we watched Killer Workout. I think... I. I think you remember, I remember you saying you watched like 10 minutes of it and you're like, yep, we're putting that one on the freak show. Yeah, I think so. I think I may have seen, it may have been the shower scene where all the tiles come flying off. Okay. I think I saw that one and was like, oh, well, yes, obviously. We bring <laughs> well, this. yes. But you had not seen this before. No, this is uh, my first I, time watching I have tonight. seen this before. Yes. This. Okay. I had not seen this. I hadn't either. Uh, I had no idea what we were Michaela? getting into. Oh, uh, probably like six or seven years ago. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. No, I had no idea what we were getting into as well. And we got into a lot. Yeah. A lot. I know, because yeah. I thought it was going to be a slasher film, and it I is not. I kind of did, too. Um, and there is a lot going on in this movie, and we're going to spoil the living hell out of it. I mean, because it's one of those movies where I think, like, maximum enjoyment is probably just watching it, but yes. yep. uh, mm -hmm. we're going to yeah, destroy that for mm -hmm. you. Stop <laughs> the podcast now and go watch it. Yeah, you don't yeah. have to. Go watch it and then go on this journey with us. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Death Spa. Um, I mean... Yeah, what, what's going on at the time? I think we were talking about on the Killer Workout uh, mm -hmm. podcast. Oh, yeah. Uh, health is... health spas are popping up all over the place in mm -hmm. Los Angeles. It's the big, the it's the big new thing. Yes. Yeah. Big craze. Yeah. And so um, we're going to we're gonna set one in a spa. Mm -hmm. I mean, why not? Why not? Sure. So the beginning, there's a lot of, actually, there's a lot of uh, faces that I recognized in this movie. Uh, yes. We'll probably get to them as we go through. But it was like, wow, this actually has like a production value that was better than Killer Workout, yeah? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, that's, Killer that's Workout true. was pretty... Rough. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember much about it. I remember Safety being Safety pin killer. 
Oh, Remember the girl with the big safety was, pin? Right, and there was yeah. a dream with the dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It felt very cheap. I mean, this one feels very cheap, too, but, like, at least <laughs> there's some kind of, dare I say, artistic, creative energy okay. behind okay. it. There we go. Creative. <laughs> it has real sets. Like, the sets look right. good, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. The sets look very 80s. Would I be out of line by saying this is one of the most 80s movies that we have ever 80 would on this show? No, it's, it's definitely up there. It's very 80s. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we've the got shorts alone. Yeah. pastel colors, crazy Check. 80s, uh, like uh, vests, mm-hmm. headbands. Mm-hmm. Um, we've got uh, all of the leotards hair. of the 80s are in yes. this movie. Mm-hmm. Yep. All of them. Mm-hmm. Man, Gelled nobody lighting wore, like crazy. Yes, those those uh, glass fixtures. Yeah, were that the, were the on glass every, block the like glass architecture block, the glass yeah. blocks, which were in every photo studio. Yep, probably still are. Crazy yeah. cement beds. Yeah, super eighties modern like architecture houses with mm-hmm. like dining rooms that are on ledges and conversation pits and balconies in the middle of a house. Everything's gonna have a fucking angle. Yep. Yeah, I want this house. Every, yeah, I, me I do too. It's yeah. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but I do as well. I do want it. But the number of accidents that happen in this house are a right. lot. Yeah, no, I want this house, but less deathy. Like, put okay, bumpers so just, on the corners. Just and, don't be yeah. blind and live in it. Right. Then I think you'd be fine. <laughs> That's true. Because if, yeah. if you could see, you'd be fine in this place. Although That's I very true. will probably like pull a chair out from that table and accidentally just fall off the yeah. back of it. Yeah. yeah. And, and then it, and then takes a second fall into the conversation pit. Yeah. yeah. There's levels to yeah. this. <laughs> or there's the, there's uh, railings, but they're too short. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the hot tub like in the middle of the deck. Yep. A circular yeah. hot tub in the yeah. middle of the deck Which that has you your looks over a cliff. Yeah. The view of the mountains out there. I'm saying it again, I want this house. I know yeah. it's a pretty good, yeah. I mean, because uh, well, both of these spaces were prim- primarily in uh, this dude's house or the the death yeah. spot it's itself. Like stairs down to the pool. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. One problem with this house: it has like a sheet metal door. And like it, yeah. that reflects a lot of light. He's <laughs> definitely like melting some something from oh, like yeah. you, the sun reflecting off of this. Gotta get a new door right. in and, California. And, and, and like two thirty yeah. every day, something like Ex- twenty yards away is getting burned. Exactly. Severely, just yeah. That's when the light hits it. All of the California wildfires <laughs> are because <laughs> of this door. <laughs> Shit, this he opened door, his door yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, stainless steel door. Like who who does that? I mean, it's crazy. But you know, like I think of you know modern movies like maybe like Invisible Man. Uh, you know, where yeah. they have like that kind of, uh, or Ex Machina, where you have that kind mm. of like, is Ooh, that, those is both that, had great houses. Yeah. Is yeah. That the the yes. new version of, yeah. like, this started in the 80s and, uh, you know. Yes. Mm-hmm. The Invisible um, Man house was really nice. Yeah. 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 That was really cool. So at the beginning of Death Spa, mm. we are introduced to a lady named Laura. Yeah. Who is played by Brenda Back, who uh, we also had on this show because she was Cordelia, the hooker in Tales from the Crypt, Demon Knight. Ah. Oh. Only she had dark hair. Okay. Huh. And I didn't recognize her through most of the movie because she wears, uh, she well, she's blinded in this yeah. opening scene. Yeah. She has <laughs> eye bandages. Yep. Yes. Yeah. She is. We, we uh, come upon her dancing. Yeah. With no music. Nope. Well, with not, We didn't hear the music. Yeah, we didn't hear it. her music. We heard the movie's music. Yeah, which is not good music to dance to. Yeah, it's weird, right? Like, this is the first sign that something's off in this movie. The whole movie's kind of mm-hmm. off. It's her flash dance scene. and it there's really not, is. But there's no flash dance music yeah. to yeah. it. Yeah. Missed it, opportunity. And she goes into the... Even shop- if they played or- Killer Groove... At this point, yeah, yeah something, <laughs> something. Yeah, this is the cr- end credits uh, song. Yes, by the Squirt Guns. The Squirt Gun, <laughs> Squirt yes. Gun, Squirt Gun. Just yeah. the band Squirt, squirt Gun. gun. Yeah. Yep. Singular. There's a lot gun. of uh, songs by people. Uh, mm-hmm. I was in the band People. people? Okay. Yeah. Um, so we are introduced also. I think uh, Ken Foray, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, from which we established uh, is he on the, the he Saturday has to Night be. Freak Show Wall There's of Fame list. for. Uh, uh, his appearances in From Beyond and Lords of Salem. And what was that other one that we... There was... Oh, my God. He's been in so many things. I, he's been in so many things, but how many have we... Uh, that we've done? Mm-hmm. Because, I feel like uh, there's another one we're forgetting. Yeah. Let me see. Did we do Lords of Salem? We did Lords of Salem. He's not even on this list. Well, then we put Ken Foray in. Dead? We haven't done Dawn of the Dead. No, but... Or Texas Chainsaw 3. No, so maybe this is it. Wait, we, so so what have we done? We did, we did uh, Lords of Salem uh-huh. and from, and from beyond. beyond. So this from puts beyond. him on the wall then. Yeah. Wow. Well, awesome. welcome, uh, Ken Foray. Wow. Congratulations, the... I'm sir. surprised. I know. I think we... I think we okay. put him on the wall. I just... <laughs> I mean, Ken Foray is a guy, he's been out there forever, yeah. you know, I mean, ever since Dawn of the Dead, I MF think. MF Matt is swearing at us right yeah. now. Yeah, well, that may not be the most updated of wall that we're looking yeah. at. Um, so, 
he's the co-manager of this place, right? And mm-hmm. uh, she is left alone after closing. Mm-hmm. And she goes in to take an... Uh, Does have a, a nice steam? Yeah. In the steam room? Or mm-hmm. sauna? Yeah. The sauna, yeah. Where I guess they... They spray steam from, I've never seen this before, but I mean, I assume it's a thing. You got pipes overhead. It looks like a shower head, but it just sprays steam. Well, the funny thing is, is that at this point, it's steam being piped in to the room. But then later on, we see the steam room again, and it's the traditional like yeah. water on the rocks. Yeah. yeah. So I, I don't know uh, if they have both methods or maybe. they just, this it's high continuity. Tech. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, was it the same room or two different rooms? That's why like I'm like, different. do they have two different I styles? I think it's two different rooms because <laughs> the one with the rocks was like wood paneled. And I don't think this earlier one was. And, okay. th- and like this, the thing with this spa, which we'll get into, is that it's all like computerized and automated. Right. So it would make sense that they would have the one that pumps it in through like the shower head. Because right. that could be automated, I guess. Yes. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. I believe that was a different. Well, that's, I guess, where we're going to go with this, just describing this crazy spy itself. But our opening inciting incident is her uh, about to pleasure herself in the Mm -hmm. steam room uh, because you've got full nudity and within five minutes of the movie starting, because that's the kind of movie it's going to be. I mean, it's called Death Spa, so Mm -hmm. I suppose there's an expectation, 1987. And then all of a sudden she starts freaking out because it, or we're like, is it too hot? It looks yeah, we like don't know why there's more the, steam. Being we, pumped yeah. In. All we see is that there's more steam being pumped in. Yes. But it, okay. She's <laughs> screaming and all of a sudden, yeah, like, it's not like she's coughing or anything. It's yeah. just like, help. And she's trying to get out. She and, cracks the window with her hand does. and we're like, that should evacuate what's ever in there. But then she collapses. We're like, oh shit, she's dead. Yeah. And don't she didn't cut herself up, up climbing don't out of that so glass window. There, there's a couple of scenes in this where, like, it doesn't play visually what's actually mm-hmm. happening because we right. find out she's been what was it, potassium chloride or chlorine. chlorine or chlorine? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was pumped through the pipes and and uh, and burned. So parts she got of a chemical body. burn. Yeah, yeah. The chemical movie also blindness. forgets that she was burned on parts of her body. <laughs> yep. but she's all the eyes and all straight in the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, so this spa itself is like an unusual uh, place Indeed. because it seems like it generates a fortune for Michael, the guy who owns it, mm-hmm. and Laura's boyfriend. Yes. Right? Um, it's computer controlled. It's got a nerve center. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's so like smart house. That means that you're going to have that concrete bunker somewhere in the middle of the the facility that has all the computers all over the place and, and the, a guy all the buttons running and lights. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, there's 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 like two rooms. They have one is the um, you know, surveillance room. Yep. Yep. And then they have the the brain room. Mhm. Um yes. And I'm like, would this movie make like a good companion piece to like Chopping Mall? You watch those as a double feature, uh, right? So I can see that. It's, it, it should be. I mean, they could be. Uh, it should be the same guy who runs the system, bringing it over to each one. It's yeah. Like, well, we we had it in spas before. It didn't quite work. So now we're bringing it to malls. <laughs> you know that? You know those like memes where it's like the three. It's like the Venn diagram, but with three circles. Mm-hmm. I feel like you could do one with Death Spa, Killer Workout, and Chopping Mall, and definitely <laughs> connect all the things that overlap between the three movies I like yeah, i'm gonna do universe. it i'll figure it out <laughs> but i mean so we're this is the movie that we're we're assuming we're gonna get at this point right it's like this is some kind of technology run amok cautionary tale don't run your house on i can't say her name because she's sitting right there but she who <laughs> shall not be named the a word yeah <laughs> allegra mm-hmm. there we go um, <laughs> testing it <laughs> and <laughs> She's, uh, like, so, she's gonna wake up and be like, "No one's called me Allegra in a long time." So take heed, Colin. Yeah, yeah. Because your entire house. Yeah, I was yeah. Say, this is a warning for you. I know. I was sitting quaking in fear as I was watching this. Uh, the robot wood paneling down here, Colin. The podcast is gonna sh- cut off right now. <laughs> We're all just gonna get cords to start wrapping yep. around our throats. Yeah, <laughs> they know too much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, Michael gets a call in the middle of the night that, like, oh no, something bad's happened at your death spa. What's the spa called? Star Bodies. Star Body Health Spa. Yes. <laughs> Which sounds like a very involved name for a Very spa. involved. Yep. Yeah. But that's for a gag? It is for a gag because the sign at the beginning, does it get struck by lightning? Yeah, yeah I think so. It okay. yeah, struck by lightning. There's sparks everywhere. A few letters go missing and we are in the death spa. I, think I like mean, that they, had to, they had to be like, all right, we have to, it's got to be, it's death spa. So we got to figure out a name for the spa that encompasses all this in the right order. 
They could have done better than Star Body, I think. I think it makes sense. It's in Hollywood. Everyone wants to have a Star Body. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, yeah. It, it sounds very 80s, too. Yeah, yeah. I was like, it's yeah. fitting for this movie. Star Body helps. But th- well, we say sign, but it's rope lights, like, uh, yeah. up on this mm-hmm. building. It's not a real sign. But it's, again, it's some Christmas 80s. lights. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so there's a lot of characters and stuff we got to we meet when we're too going many, into this. Too many. We're not going to remember their names. Nope. Okay. Um, so the main <laughs> players are Michael and Laura. Laura sure. is taken out of the movie. We're like, is she dead? But mm-hmm. it turns out she's in the mm-hmm. hospital. Burn and, unit. Yeah. And uh, just for your eyes, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Even, though when yeah. he, even though when he goes to check on her, she's like wrapped in gauze, like yeah. all over. It is. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But later he brings her home and. Let's her wander around the house, mm. <laughs> which has all these like death traps like built right. into it. <clears throat> um, his... It's like he brought a new baby home and didn't baby proof. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, it's weird. And then that leads to it's a like romantic a, a dinner, new baby, and you brought the baby to like here's the corner museum, <laughs> all the corners, <laughs> right? Here's and the ledges, pill- corners yeah. and ledges. Yeah, here's the pill cabinet and makes nice rattles. Have yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. he lights a bunch of candles for this dinner, and we're like, she can't. Can see she him. feel them? And yeah, <laughs> all the heat is so sexy of these candles. He tries to flirt with her by putting floppy asparagus in her face. <laughs> <laughs> you just imagine him like what that's you, not a euphemism like, like, like he, was, I'm, just, I'm just saying like okay picture you're blind and someone is like trying to like tantalize your senses but remember and the, he uses asparagus <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah that's teasing disgusting. her with it, where he's, just, he's rubbing it on her lips she's like ah uh. yeah that's uh. disgusting it was weird. It was weird. And we thought this was going to go further than it did to the uh, you like know, eye a, bandage. Just a pasta noodle and be like, here, eat this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's Smack all like, in the face. But, completely it, serious. but it's even worse because it smells. Yeah, it's yeah. going to make your face <laughs> smell. <laughs> yeah. It's going to yeah. smell now. It's going to smell, now. Yeah. It's gonna it's smell all, later. Yep, he's going to smell yeah, for a long time. It's not going to be good. Yeah. Not an aphrodisiac. No. No. Uh, no. Okay. But they're healthy people. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the other strawberries. Come on. Yeah. There you go. We Come saw nine and a half weeks. Isn't this obvious? Mm-hmm. So another character is uh, well. We said Ken Foray is like the assistant manager, I think, of this place. Yeah. Um, Merritt Buttrick, who I believe is two. He's one away from being on the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame because he was in. Yeah. He's the brother-in-law. Thank David, you. okay, mm-hmm. the it. brother-in-law, okay. <laughs> David, the unhinged one. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was in *Fright Night* Part Two yeah. in this, and he's the also probably insane. Was that it? Probably insane. Probably insane. Probably yeah. insane. Oh no, he's a, probably a psycho. Probably a probably psycho. Probably a psycho. That yeah. was it. Yeah. Well, he okay. So this is this <laughs> given is, in the physical description of this character. It's uh, um, Michael's former brother-in-law. Yes. Yes. Okay. He's the computer genius who has created the computer that runs the whole place. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. So, of course, suspicion falls immediately on him, Mm -hmm. right? Because he's built all this thing. Right. He runs it all. I know that technically, like, he's his ex-brother-in-law now, but I feel like when it's been a death, you don't call him that. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Like, you don't... Yeah. That's not like a divorce (laughs) really. No. Like, she died. You're still... Come on. You're still brother. Yeah, but they never never liked each other. He could say former... But former's yeah. a little nicer than yeah. X. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. It was just harsh. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's... again, yeah, they don't like each other, so maybe they're saving. Or just say that's my other. say that's my late wife's brother. Thank you. Yeah, there you exactly. Go. Yeah. Like that. That way, you're not like, oh, I'm not with him anymore. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. I don't claim him. Yeah. 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 It is. Yeah. It is an awkward. It's kind of a mouthful. Too. Yeah. This is my. It, he, well, he was my. He's my former brother-in-law. My wife's dead. My wife. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's it. What happened My to wife said, so I don't give a fuck about him anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. What Just, happened to Michael's wife? Well, we get flashbacks, <laughs> Colin, around this time. <laughs> Beautiful sunset flashbacks. Uh, we should just tell them the flat, tell our audience the flashbacks, and not reveal until we get to the end of the podcast, <laughs> so they oh, can just, experience just it. Like reveal we them, like like we saw them. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we saw. We see, I think we saw a burning wheelchair. No, we or, saw yeah. a sunset and a. Fi- to me, I didn't even see the wheelchair. I just saw a fire. Yeah. I saw a sunset and a fire. Uh, I yeah. thought it was a nom flash. Yeah, I thought. Yeah. It was oh yeah, a nom we saw flashback. somebody with a huge head get up and fall down on fire. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because that was just a bad wig. Because uh, in the fire suit. Yeah, yeah. at this point, everything. all we see is just sunset fire done. That's it. Yeah. 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 That's, it's a flash. Quick flash. Real quick. Yeah. But he keeps having nightmares. He mm-hmm. does. And. Uh, yeah, I, I can't even remember like how it expanded from there because he just seems he has nightmares of a wheelchair on fire. A wheelchair on fire, someone in the wheelchair who's on fire, then we get revealed somebody pouring gasoline on themselves. Mm-hmm. This is in like a field. 
Yeah. It, they say the garden. Like, the like garden. You're right, no, no, this is a random field right. next to a highway. If, yeah, like, if they turned it around, there's cars yes. going by. Like, <laughs> it looks like the grass dugouts between highways. Like, yeah, it, it's just <laughs> the garden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was in the garden. Yeah. No. Oh, well, um, so do we find out what happened to his wife? I forgot. <laughs> Well, all we're told, because I think Merritt Buttrick, who was uh-huh. also in Star Trek 2, that's where most people remember him from, but uh, he says yeah. that they were twins, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he says something about, like, she never wanted to have that baby. Yeah. Like, it's <laughs> what, oh, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. There's real dramatic dialogue in this. Like, <laughs> it's real like a soap opera. Soap yeah. 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 It comes without, out of nowhere. Without context. W- without, like, it's just, I mean, it's just the two talking to each other. Like, she never wanted to have that baby. So. It's, yeah. Oh. Yeah. But he gets real close <laughs> in his face yeah. and right? says that, yeah. It's just like, oh, is that where we are? Okay. Yeah. Um, so we get something happened to the wife. She died mm-hmm. somehow. He's having dreams of this wheelchair and fire, fire wheel. Like, was that her? Yeah, yeah. I think later we find out that, uh, I can't remember why, she became crippled through something. Um, giving birth to the child. That's right. That's what it was. Okay, she had yeah. spinal damage. Yeah. Right. So this Where's is- the child? Did it die? Yeah, they said it died. He said, okay. he said, oh, after our kid died, or after the baby died, I couldn't trust right. her judgment anymore or something like that. Right. He made, yeah. So a year later, he has now found solace with Laura, mm-hmm. the burned girl. The blind mm-hmm. woman. The blind woman is better. Yeah. Cause, <laughs> okay. But don't and, you think he would be like, okay, when, once he saw that she was in the burn, you don't think, think he'd be like, it's happening again. Right. Like, like, been, like, yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah like, and I'm not totally sure. Was that when the flashbacks started? Everyone I love burns to death. <laughs> like, Well, I mean, I just put it in perspective. <laughs> Lots of people are dying in this dude's health spot, and he doesn't really seem to care. Yeah, he's like, pretty nonplussed by it. He's pretty... Like, yeah. non-reactive to yeah. anything in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, she didn't technically die, but there's an accident. And then I think there's... Um, Diving board. Yeah, because uh, Chelsea Field is also in this movie. Is that who that is? Yeah, and I think it was her first movie. I was going to say, because she looked familiar. She was in Masters of the Universe. Yes, Which was. isn't this And in... the last Lost Boy Scout. Uh, isn't this in a Final Destination movie? The The, the Diving, Diving Board. board. I thought it was in like the fourth or fifth one. How would they die? I th- you hit your head I think head. the board comes up and hits them, yeah. Oh, uh, well, in this one, the no. board comes off because we see the screws all yeah. loosening, and they were I like, can see, oh! Yeah, I can see the board coming down and them hitting them he- their head on the side of the pool. Mm-hmm. I can see that. Well, so, there's just an extended gymnast scene in, yeah, in I re- I Final Season 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, there were a couple other scenes that uh, reminded me of Final Destination Five because you get a workout <laughs> yep. scene mm-hmm. with uh, weights, and then yep. there's also that was Final scene, Destination Three, right? Yeah. And that the, we did on the show. Uh, oh yeah, yep. we did. What about with the, the fucking? Bed? Is that with the yeah, intense the, workout yes, scene? Yes, yes, it was one of the best scenes in cinema history. Yeah, 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 yeah that, that was, was Final Destination Three. Yep, <laughs> that guy was pumped. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like the tanning bed we've seen a couple times. Yep. Yeah, 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 but is this the first? I think this is the. first. I think this might be the first. Yeah, because everything else was in the nineties. This know. is 1987. Yeah. We're going to have to find out. Is this the first? Well, tanning beds weren't around for what? They probably peaked in the 80s. So, I mean, I don't invented? know how when were they invented, but I mean, mm. I still know what you did last summer and yes. finally station three are deep into the 90s. Yeah. So. Yes. Very true. Mm-hmm. This could be the first. Well, okay. So we've had, uh, and then I think there's... Um, there's the uh the the tile incident. Oh, okay. Oh, no. I guess I guess what I'm trying to get at here is like we're first of all we're like okay, the whole place is computerized. We're yes. told that everything runs on this computer, and there's no way that uh, David could have like you know because he's like I'm the only person who understands how to use this. Right. But it points to like you know something's going wrong with your computers right. and turning all these things on and killing people or injuring them. Yes, and police have shown up at this point. Yep. They With Rosalind Cash from a Mega Man. Yes. I'm just going to keep throwing that out yes. there. Uh- <laughs> so they show up in there, and they're kind of investigating things after the Laura incident where she got blinded. Uh, so they happen to be there when the uh, diving board breaks off, like right there. Yeah, they see it happen. Yeah. They're like, there's something wrong. Because now we're like, well, we saw the screws coming yeah, loose but they by themselves. Know. They are... Good detectives. They instantly right. Know. They looked at like somebody messed with these balls. Yeah. <laughs> How would you know? The thing yeah. just broke off. Yeah. Like, can we dust for fingerprints? Like, you're not gonna find anything. 
Yeah. But we did see like it unscrewing itself, which is like a Final Destination thing. Like yeah. Yeah. when we yeah, did that sure. movie, we saw all the little details of the like the Rube Goldberg machine of how these things happen. Yeah. You know? But for this movie, we're like, okay, now we've moved into the supernatural. Yeah, because mm-hmm. we're yeah. like, there's this. That's not automated. It's yeah. not like there's a button that says unscrew the bolts and underneath the. I mean, there could be. I mean, there movie. could. I right. doubt it. But those of you that were expecting like a slasher movie, like you're kind of like, what the. Yeah. Fuck so, yeah, yeah. What's happening here? So yeah. now we have because I was actually going with like Sean when you said at the beginning. I'm like, oh, this is about the spa that kills people. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. This is about a death spa. <laughs> yeah. You know, you would assume. You would think. Okay, so uh, <laughs> casualties start to mount. Yeah, uh, and there's another guy because they keep talking about how the automation and turning it all off and everything. So another guy who I honestly don't understand how this guy died unless he was he's such an aggro gym bro that he's just like I'm gonna fight this machine. And I'm gonna make it do it because he's doing an, uh, an arm right. workout. Right. He's, but, yes. I think. And, he, I think and, it. Stra- I think he strapped into it. He so, is, but it doesn't go back far enough to do what it does. To I this think guy. that's what they're trying. But, but, yeah. it, but, but it keeps it. increasing the weight. Yes, it's like 140 yeah. pounds pressing his and arms backwards. And yeah, it breaks and not, his ribs, so they compound fracture out of his yeah. squirt. It's, yeah, you're not normally strapped into that machine. Yeah. but this is a futuristic machine, Holly. Mm. It's automated because so. Oh yeah, it's automated. So I definitely want to be strapped. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's also a mishap in the shower room. Yep, the uh, tile flying and mm, yes. all the ladies are in More there. More gas. And, yeah, because it, it's weird. Like all the the tiles pop, sp- certain uh, tiles uh, uh, pop. Colored off ones, them, yeah. And yeah, they're yeah. like spinning around the room and you know and bouncing off of walls and like mm-hmm. cutting them. Yeah, you know, it's yep. like ah, oh, so everybody's fleeing out of the of the shower. Yeah. Um, and then I think there and is seemingly not really phased afterwards. No, they seem to be fine. Because M- Michael's checking on them, and they're just like, "Oh, we're fine." Hey, you want to hang out tomorrow? Like, it's <laughs> don't care. Nobody cares about death in this movie. Yeah, because there's like the <laughs> '80s thing where it's like, uh, you know, because what the two girls are like, "Can you handle both of us tomorrow?" Yeah. He's like, "We'll see." And we're like, "Is he dating?" Yeah, Laura. He literally stuff? just asked Laura to move in with him. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? Well, when Michael. Laura was being like, she kissed Ken Foray, and I'm like, okay, so they're an item. But no, that's just no, the that's LA just, thing that that's you do. Just the thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there is a death, but I don't think anybody knows that there has been a death, right? This is uh, the girl who uh, is attacked by the lockers. Uh, oh, right. She was then, in the shower, and then. Because everybody gets in the shower. Yeah, but there was a death, everybody. but the guy on the. Oh yeah, she, well he, he dies. Died. He yeah. died yeah. very publicly though. Very public, like yeah. you would know somebody died in this spot. Okay, yeah. that's true. I can't remember which one happened first, but yeah. He, so he it's was like the third one to die. First. Yes, his yeah. happened first. And Michael is like, like he said, kind of like, uh, not you know, like. Well, we uh, cut to the uh, well. His the whole lawyer. Thing is yeah. like, we have yeah. to shut the computer down. He wants everything to go back to manual, but the uh, everything being automated is what makes this place money. Apparently, yeah. yeah. And the lawyer, his yeah. business partner, I assume, and no, because there's also the, the woman who's the manager. the manager. We're saying there's a lot of characters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they're like, no, we have to put on that Mardi Gras party, uh, you know, next week yeah. because that's when subscriptions go way up and it has to happen and we can't close down before then. And the police apparently are okay with this. And we're like, if this happened anywhere, <laughs> you know, he had this many yeah. accidents because you have this like newfangled. Uh, yeah. You know, computer thing running everything. You'd yes. be like out of business. But Still not open the- for some reason. This spa. Yeah, and, and this spa must do crazy business because this. Mm-hmm. Uh, Did you guy's see house. the party? Did you see the juice bar? Oh, yeah. shit. That's right. Yeah, we have, <laughs> it has its own juice bar. It's got its own sushi bar. Yep. As a matter of fact, that's oh, true. Yeah, that's right. We know this uh, because they keep. The fish. Never, I would never trust a health spa sushi bar. No, I feel like even the <laughs> that's like are that's like eating it. at the buffet at a strip club. Yeah, like it's just not going to be good in any way. <laughs> no, nope. mm-hmm. that's why mm-hmm. it's free. Yeah, yeah, you're onto something there. I think this is uh, very uh, unsanitary. Very, is what we're yeah, yeah, just just based on the amount of sweat that was happening earlier mm-hmm. in this movie. I don't. Uh, I'm not. I'm not eating here. Yeah. And then we do have the death of the girl. Somehow she's attacked by lockers, but stabbed through the throat yeah. with <clears throat> uh, a spear. Yeah, it looks like an arrow. It's an item. Now, if, they had, if they'd cut to an archery range in the spa, A, would have been awesome. Just to have an archery range in a spa. 
That's all. That's what <laughs> I just want an archer. It does in have spot. bizarre. Point being, there's um, no arrows in this place, but. but it does have bizarre spaces. Like you wouldn't Very. expect that there wouldn't be an archery, uh, you know, range in this because there's an area that's a lounge that kind of looks like it looks a, like a boxing <laughs> ring, <laughs> right? But yeah. people are sitting in. This it. was a dance club uh, before they filmed here. So. Oh, really? Okay. So that was if like that a stage, probably. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was all what it was. What you the party at the end is what this place was made for. Basically. Gotcha. Okay. Because it has a cavernous spooky basement mm-hmm. that stretches it's like freddy krueger's boiler room uh, it has right. yes. uh back offices that seem to go on forever lots yeah. of red light in this movie red light. well yeah that pink light mm-hmm. seems uh, i know it's very colorful i mean it's very 80s you know i mean yeah. it's uh this mm-hmm. is when you think of like 80s you know neon lighting this mm-hmm. movie has it um so somewhere in here laura now recuperating Decides that she needs to go back to the spa to collect her stuff from right, the locker room. Right, because she is moving yeah, in. You are. She's right. moving in. And Michael has to go in order so she can open her locker. He has to go to the master control. He has to hack the mainframe <laughs> to get a locker open in this place. <laughs> Too sophisticated? That's, I'd say so. That's how automated it is. Yeah, yeah that's ridiculous. That's this good. is like back in the day when you had to type in, you like want to unlock your program. Access master security program, and then yeah. it asks you for a password. And, then, and yeah. you have to type all this in manually. Yeah. And what is his password? Oh, it's his. It's his dead wife's name, mm-hmm. Catherine. Yeah. Uh, and so, so immediately, for it. the computer summoned her. Starts talking back to him and says, "Michael, I miss you." Mm-hmm. And we're like, "Oh, oh, 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 this is a ghost movie. <laughs> She's haunting the spa." Okay. Yes. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> no, it's a lot. We didn't see coming. Ghost, yeah, because ghost in the death spa. I think it's somewhere <laughs> around here. Well, then, then he becomes because I think there's another flashback, right, where we get more of Catherine's backstory about where the she's baby pouring and, gasoline on herself. There's that. So she killed herself. Yes, yeah. it was a suicide in, by immolation. Yeah, Jesus. And the so, worst way to go. Yeah, Michael consults the paranormal detective. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what did you guys think when you saw like paranormal investigators show up? I in mean, this movie? no. At this point, I was just like, "All right, you just have to go. You just have to be on board with this movie. Like, you just, you just have to let it happen." Yeah. Well, he they, he's introduced, uh, and it, it, you said it's the guy who played the uh, sheriff. In, yeah. In Scream. Yes. Yeah. Same actor. Um, he's introduced telling this story that's like, and then there was this house. It didn't like it was so spooky, and then it burned down, and you know now you can't grow anything there. It's barren. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you're like, what does this have to do with anything? And he's like, I just showed you an example of like psycho something something yeah. because he had an object that he waved this wand oh, yeah. over, and he was getting information from <laughs> yeah. the skull. He like, was oh. saying how the skull. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was waving his wand over a skull, explaining where the skull came from and how that person died. Yeah, so he's it wasn't a skull; it was a cigarette case. Oh, was he just doing it on the cigarette case? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there was, there was a cigarette? skull right next to it. I thought, oh, <laughs> silly me. I'm sorry. I know some things don't read all that clearly <laughs> no. in this movie. Um, so he hires this guy to find out if Catherine is haunting the death spa. Yes, mm-hmm. right? Because like, my ex wife is trying to kill me. Yeah, very very <laughs> matter of yeah, factly, like, yes. And the guy's like, "Okay, I'm going to pose as your insurance uh, investigator, adjuster." Yeah, probably because of all the deaths that have happened there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so he's just mm-hmm. going to go low key through the uh, place. But what does he find when he gets there? And he goes down in the cavernous basement. There's a scene that happens oh, there. Oh, the girl um, that was like, "Hey, you want to hang out tomorrow night?" And and she found a note from Michael. Right. It's like, "Hey, meet me in the boiler room." So she goes downstairs and she's met with acid rain. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. this is another. <laughs> she gets trapped down there and then the sprinkler system starts going off. And it's another instance of us not knowing, okay, what's happening to her? Yeah, because yeah, it just looks like the sprinkler's she, yeah, going it just off. Because the sprinkler, a, but she's like screaming. She's like, what is this? Yeah, for a minute, <laughs> it's like she doesn't understand water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's like because I, I don't know we don't know what's happening to her she just really does not like rain it is los angeles so maybe she's like what maybe she is like what is this condensation coming down from the sky i feel like the only time they do get rain is acid rain right, right. Yeah. like you know <laughs> comment on yeah. uh uh environmentalism envi- yeah, yeah is this, is climate global change? warming climate mm-hmm. change is this what we're getting into this movie's so definitely you're telling, not. You're telling me that Death Spa is a political movie. Yes. What you're saying. Always. In so. this essay, it will describe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 
No, no. Like, I mean, why I mean, not? I mean, for like all I said, at this point, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah sure. just go with it. But she does get, uh, uh, she starts getting liquefied. Yeah, because we see like you it's know whatever the, the yeah, foam very, begin yeah. to form on her face. Yeah, and the actress is definitely helping it because there's parts where you could tell things are supposed to be peeling off, right. and the actress is going and like pulling them off her face with yeah. her fingers, like uh, this like layer was supposed to be gone by now, and it's not coming off, so I'll help it along. Yeah, or yeah. like we only have so much of this, so spread it around your face <laughs> yeah. on camera. Yeah. <laughs> so much better. I mean, it's great. I love it whenever, you know, yeah. I mean, that is like a special fascination for me is when you have actors who are like supposed to be writhing around in horrible pain and just how each one of them does it. Yep. And actually, I thought everybody in this was like, meh, I mean, they're doing a, a good job. Yeah. Um, I think this movie overall is of better quality than you would expect. Just based on like the title and the cover, like it's it has a higher production value, better acting. Like I would have expected a killer workout level. Yeah, I guess that's yeah. what I thought. Approach, we were yeah, into. yeah. Because I'm like all the actors. Well, I mean, I'm saying I'm like I recognize them all from other stuff, and they kind of look like movie star people. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think the lawyer we said he looks like Jeremy Irons. Did the lead guy Michael kind of look like Jason Patrick? I was yes. like, ah, yeah. I was yes, like, why yeah, does he yeah, look he's familiar? Yeah. Jason Patrick. But they're all like passable actors. Like yeah. we've yeah. seen some atrocious acting oh, in yeah. our time here, and the. This is all f- perfectly serviceable, you yeah. know? Yes. It's maybe the direction is a little weird. There's like scenes where somebody gets like thrown through a, a window and the editing or the, the one where the guy was like, it cuts back to him and he's left his chair and the chair's just spinning. <laughs> yes. Like, what the? That was like a fucking scooby <laughs> moment. Was, that was funny. That was wonderful. <laughs> Same shot, just spinning yeah. chair. It's just like, okay. It's like, boom, there you went. Give that, uh, yeah. I'll give that one to the editor. That like, bravo. Funny. <laughs> well, right. the paranormal detective comes down into the basement and he finds this puddle on the floor that's talking to him. It's or groaning. It's groaning. Pulsating. Uh, oh, yeah. The heart. The heart's heart still, is beating. still beating. Yeah. yeah. Still yeah. alive as she was. There's a little puddle of some yeah. lady. <laughs> what? Puddle of lady. Uh, yeah, whatever's left of that lady. The lady in the puddle. Mm-hmm. But then he is Of confronted. blood. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> he is confronted by the lady in white. Which we are to take is Catherine herself. Yeah. yeah. At this point, we see her. It is Catherine. Yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. she has super ghost strength. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Like yep. you do. Well, yeah. Poltergeist, of course. And she demonstrates that how? <laughs> she throws a guy like up yeah. to the ceiling. Wait. She, she explodes his hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He pulls, he pulls oh, yeah. out a gun and explodes his hand, oh, and then yeah. she throws him up to the ceiling. This is uh, a yep. scream sheriff. Yep. Yes. Yeah. And then he, she throws him up into the light. He hits yeah. a wall or his dummy hits a wall and then yeah. he slides down on the roller <laughs> right. from the pink yep. light and he's dead. Yeah, yep. because they have like a cargo roller along For the delivery. Why? I mean, it was just like, Where do you no, think that's... the sushi comes from, Michaela? <laughs> but Those... it goes down into the basement, not up from no, the that basement. Is, that a lot of places do have that. That's for like heavy drink crates mm. to go down into storage. That it's actually a real thing. In like a club or but yeah, like in a grocery store, store I could see that. But like a yeah, grocery club? store, this is yeah. basically a grocery store. They have fresh, <laughs> freshly pressed juices. They have sushi from muskies. We Sharp see they muskies. have a freezer above ground in a this. Lot, yeah, this happens a, like in like cities, like big cities that have like basement storage and like mm-hmm. bars and stuff. They'll yeah. have they'll have shoots like that. Okay, but it's a it's a it's an interesting scene that just kind of escalates because it uh, really does. Well, yes, because we were not expecting a, an exploding hand. Yeah, like because <laughs> was it like he tried to shoot her because he makes a big deal about like he's got this gun because it, is know. it like the gun malfunction and exploded? It she looked made like it? it. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, but I think it, that's what they're trying to go explodes. for. <laughs> yeah, and then goes off screen and the blood sprays. Ah, like, I forgot about that. He <laughs> pulls it back a little oh, bit. Yeah, and then squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think and she sh- manipulates it to like make the gunpowder explode. I think yeah. so. Yeah, and I can't remember if that was before or after all the throwing around. But when she threw him up, we're saying to the ceiling. But it's like two stories yeah. into a light fixture. Yeah. Yep. So he slams into that. Yep. Oh, that was first. That was the first yeah. thing she did. And then he lands and he's like, hey, he's fine. You know, trying to, I'm like, you just got like, thrown bounce off the walls. Yeah. two stories up in the air and bounce off the walls. And then, yeah, then his hand explodes. And I think it's pretty much all over for him after that. Mm-hmm. Somewhere around here, there's all of a sudden a cut to a bedroom. And we're like, where the fuck are we? And we're going over the floor really slowly. The camera's prowling over clothes and stuff like that. And we can hear voices talking. And one of them oh, yeah, is okay. a woman. And they're moaning. 
right? Yeah, and you're there's like, sex noises. This is a sex scene that we're going to pan up to. And then we hear a voice, and the voice is David's, and he says something to Catherine. And we're like, wait a second, aren't they brother and sister? Wait a second, isn't she dead? And what the fuck is going on? And we don't, we cut away. Yeah, yep. they just they just stop on a photograph that's of Catherine and David that they're yes. like looking at each other adoringly. Mm-hmm. Yes, they were twins, and they had a very strong connection. <laughs> Stronger than we know. Holly, how do you feel about the twin twin situation? (laughs) (laughs) I'm saying. So the club, we find out, it turns out that Michael's business partners are actually sabotaging him in another rando scene that comes out of nowhere. Yeah. Where they're down like hooking shit up to the power box in the basement. We're like, what the fuck is going on? Apparently everyone in this club is very tech savvy. Very, yeah. yeah, right. You have to be a, to work there, I guess. Yeah, yeah. for such a, a complex system that runs everything. It's right. Like if I jam it with the screwdriver, it <laughs> should yeah. do what I want it to do. Okay, but speaking of scenes that come out of nowhere, I want to make sure we don't blow past my favorite line in the whole movie: "Your beta and I'm VHS." <laughs> <laughs> Says the workout dude. Or does he say no, I'm, he beta. Says, I'm beta? I'm beta. Your VHS. Your VHS. I, yeah. I, I like, still don't I understand. Would, I, would, I, <laughs> I think he's I saying he's the VCR. superior. Yeah, he's the superior, he's the superior format. format. Not like a beta saying. male kind of thing. No, he's like going, yeah. in the the format wars yeah. of the 1980s. Yep, he's beta saying I'm. VHS. He's saying I'm out of your league in yeah. a really douchey <laughs> way. Yeah, all right. Um, I, that comes out of nowhere and it does. never matters <laughs> my, again. But my instant thought was that um, he's Beta Max and she's VHS, as in like. He's into dudes, and she's, a, she's of. Oh, I mean, that's how I took it. Maybe I could see it being read that way. Like he can only play, we're not compatible. He can only play beta. Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. That's how I took it. You know, you went. You're onto deep. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But who knows? I look but. for meaning in movies, guys. <laughs> I, Death's I, oh, okay. I prefer it as an insult, but I think you're. <laughs> thought makes more, more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's they, more entertaining as an insult, but yeah, I think I was like, your they thought seem makes like sense. they're on like the same level as far as like looks. And, yeah, I was gonna and, say uh, just like but I thought he was just negging got her. The, like got his yeah. broken. That's why I was like, oh, okay. he's gay. Okay, got it. Oh, I thought he was just <laughs> negging her. Like that's what I thought he was. Doing. Either or, I guess. Knock her down a peg. Yeah, he died. <laughs> Did he? Oh, that's he's he the, was the guy in the. He was the bench press guy or whatever. Yeah, he did. So we've got. These saboteurs. Yes. Uh, there's also a scene where David, you're speaking of screwdrivers, goes over to Laura's house. This, I th- yes. Is this before or after our brief scene of leg cream and screaming? It was before. <laughs> okay. It was before because we, we we just had the scene in the bedroom. Right. And then, and then he then, shows up and yeah. it's like he's very being, I wouldn't even say vaguely threatening. He's being very threatening. <laughs> yeah. Overtly threatening. Overtly yeah. threatening to Laura. Yes. Last time on leg cream and screaming. (laughs) Well, it's the same thing as it was this time. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's saved from that encounter where he's like, this is the blind girl. He's like tormenting her. He's got a screwdriver. I come over to fix his terminals, you know, Uh, and uh, which is the computer. Uh, (laughs) And this is before you had like just a floppy drive. Mm -hmm. You just plug something in. You had to take the whole fucking thing apart to make an update. Uh, Oh, Jesus. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds awful. <laughs> uh, so Colin with toolkit. Apple II corner. <laughs> um, so um, then I think somewhere f- following that closely on the heels of that, we have this I just want to say something about that being a just David and Laura being a long scene with her still having her eyes taped up. <laughs> it's just yeah. the longer these scenes go where she is just taped up is uh did i miss the scene it. where she was miraculously cured no. she's at the party I, if you later. did we all missed it okay. no, no. and i was like is that the same girl is that laura i'm not sure yeah, there's she... a couple scenes in this where i was like i'm not sure if i'm looking at the same person because uh, mm-hmm. like the blondes look the same and everybody's know. got the same 80s look so it's hard yeah. to tell really it's apart hard. yeah um but then there's this scene where we see we hear Catherine's voice again and we're in a bedroom we're panning up and we see uh legs uh, and there's cream being applied yep. mm-hmm. to these legs. And Why? Then, um, because we're like, well, Because who? legs need to be moisturized, Sean. Well, no, I, yeah, <laughs> this I understand. Okay. But but it ends so violently. <laughs> He's <laughs> screaming. It doesn't feel like the, the applying of the cream to the legs doesn't 
jive because, with the rest of what happens in this very short scene? Because he's fighting it. Yes, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no! My legs will be dry! <laughs> <laughs> it is great. This is where we're like, oh, we're into the Norman Bates section yeah. of the yes. movie. Because he, he's with saying, no context, though. No, yeah, no this is kind of... yeah. That Although that first more. scene in the bedroom, like I was like, okay, so that's what we have going on here. But then she did appear, and we're like, okay, do we have a ghost, or we have a possessed guy, right. or we have right. a split personality? Yeah. Yes. I'm not yes. sure. Yes. Because in this scene, he's yeah. like, I don't want to do it anymore. You know, I feel bad when I'm hurting the earth. I can see they're in pain. And she's like, we're going to do it, David. We're going to get them all. And then we see him going like, all of a sudden, it's him. it's a reveal that it's him. Yeah. He's been, you know, putting the cream on his legs. Yeah. He's dressed in a, in a dress. And he's like, no. Mm-hmm. And it just goes on. It's shaking. <laughs> it's an odd 27 seconds. It's an award winning. Yeah. <laughs> then there's a party. Well, okay. So the party. <laughs> the Mardi Gras Alan. party. As we've seen, uh, it's been mentioned uh, lots. There's been stickers on lockers. It's the party. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is how you do it in a movie. You lead up to the thing by advertising, man, we're going to have a bash by the end of this. Mm-hmm. And in this movie, advertising is party, Saturday, February 2nd. <laughs> And it happens. And. <laughs> and it's a crazy party. There's a party draw party. So everybody's so in, costumes. in costume. Which, again, kind of felt like we were going into slash territory here. Like, as soon as I saw yeah. there were so many costumes, like, well, this has got to come into play at some point, mm-hmm. right? Has to. And it, yeah. as we talked about when we were watching it, it looks like where they were trying to get to in Terror Train. Yeah. Yes. I, is, feel, I feel like I saw some of the same exact costumes. Yeah. yeah. From I like Terror to Train. believe it's a shared universe. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is where the train was going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. Speaking of costumes, there was that scene where, like, uh, was it Chelsea Field in, like, uh, uh, she was all dressed up with a black dress on and all Oh, trying yeah, that's right. Trying to scare oh, yeah. the blind yeah. girl who couldn't see her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah apparently. Potter, yeah. Get yeah. the fuck out of here. A lot of, a lot of random. Yep. A lot of random shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're supposed to believe it's her. You just go with it, man. But now we have the party's going to happen, which is, you know, and everybody's in costume so that uh, David, now dressed up as Catherine, will be able to maneuver through the crowd unnoticed. But the police are wise to it. And this is where we get that great line, pardon me, where he's like, we're on the lookout for a man. His name is David. He's 39 or 40 years old. He's standing there with his, uh, you know, his ex uh, brother in law. Yeah. Apparently, mm-hmm. they don't know when he was born. Right. Uh, and he may be a psycho. Oh, they, don't, they don't know when he was born, even though he's twins. Right. With his, his deceased <laughs> wife. True. <laughs> Screaming. You should know exactly how old he is. Yeah, you should have that pegged down pretty well. Yeah. Unless you don't, you don't remember your wife's birthday? <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> you know what? He deserved to be haunted. Yeah. You know what? Yeah, I'm on her side now. Doesn't seem like he was too good a dude. Yeah. And they've yeah. searched his apartment and so they know that something's up and like this is our suspect. And but so what they do is they put guards on the uh computer room and yeah. they shut everything down. There has been a uh uh more details revealed about the relationship between the lawyer and the other business partner who are sabotaging to buy him out. This has been revealed in a scene before because they all have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were like, what part did they do? Did they put the acid in the, did they burn I, Laura? Yeah, they did. <laughs> apparently, but they say they did all these things. Yeah. They but sh- I thought it was the ghost. But the ghost. They, they did the things that didn't kill people. <laughs> they They blinded okay. Laura. Yeah. They did the shower thing. They unscrewed the bolts, yeah. even though we yep. saw them unscrewing. Yep. yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. How did they do that? All right. Yep. They have telekinetic powers. They can unscrew things. Well, I, th- I, th- I think that, so I think the- what was actually happening is we were seeing the loose bolts, not oh, the okay, bolts okay. being loosened. All right. They had already Those loosened. bolts were being loosened. <laughs> <laughs> I not- saw them turning. Like, I'm not saying that they didn't. I'm just saying <laughs> that's what we were supposed to see. Okay. So, so apparently they're behind some of these things, but also there is a, a ghost in the death spot. Right. And the ghost strikes. Well, basically she makes her way because now when she appears, when I guess it's supposed to be when David is dressed as Catherine, he shows up as Catherine. Yeah, we see because there's Catherine. two people inside this body. Right. Right. Yeah. And the she twin goes, thing. Apparently she goes into the. Um, control room Mm -hmm. and is able to magically like relight all the uh computers relight computer relight all the the lights on the computer turns the computers back on um and uh she kills the dude who's there how'd Mm -hmm. she kill him she She grabbed his his face face. right no she touched his face and then we find him later (laughs) with a 
kind of crushed face. It's like mutilated and kind of stretched and yeah. the skin looks all rubbery and weird. That and- felt like a, a piece from a different movie or show and they're just like, wow, we use this. It's <laughs> <laughs> well, then she starts turning all the computers against all the people who are there and mayhem ensues. Yep. We get uh, a fire starts, but I'm pretty sure people were impaled or... There was a, there was a thingy with the hand. Hmm. Oh, and the blender. The blender, yes. Oh, right. Yeah. There was a blender attack. Oh, that was... Because uh, yeah. the cops getting and just... And the walk-in fridge. Shit-faced. Right, because the... the, in the that's, uh, Chelsea Field ends up with her hand in a blender because the cops try and hit on her. Yeah. And she, she had put her hand in a blender earlier in the movie and nothing had happened. She'd made a joke out of it. Yeah, but it no, goes that off. Was, that wasn't Chelsea Field. That was a different girl. Was it? Yeah. Okay, okay. It's also a different girl who gets her hand in the thing. Yeah. So it's the same, it's at the some same point, girl. we never see Chelsea. Uh, I was going to say, right. what happened yeah. to her? I thought right. yeah. she's just gone. She's just gone. All right. Yep. <laughs> After the shower with the, the tiles. Anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, this girl, it like the cop can't get the blender off her it hand. Goes so on there's a wrestling so thing long. that goes on because the blood is squirting out so much. That there's this puddle of foamy blood on yeah. the floor that just yeah. keeps growing and it's pouring out of this thing as he's yeah. sitting there doing one of those acting moments that I love, just screaming and like, help me, somebody help me. And like nobody is coming to his No, aid. the people who are ten feet away at the door are don't care. Yeah. yeah. And she dies a horrible death, and then all well, of a sudden, because she loses every ounce of blood, I think so. <laughs> every <laughs> every <laughs> ounce. You are right. Yeah. And he's like Four so gallons. guilty. He feels yeah. so guilty about it. He and does. Like, Dude, like you did help her. What you could. I know. He, and then, he's and then um, but, but he's a cop. Yeah. <laughs> he feels like he failed. <laughs> but then it's his turn. He gets sucked into the fridge because somebody saw by a poltergeist. Frozen barracuda. Right, frozen barracuda yep. and champagne. He is, well, he is. He is. He is. We're not uh, kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Take that in. After, yeah. After he uh, fails to help this woman, the back walk-in fridge opens up with a bright light, and he gets sucked yeah. in. Yeah. And then there's champagne bottles going off, and he can't get up for some reason. And then he's ba- just screaming, ba- "Oh no!" It's and then the, barracudas yeah. start. Frozen barracudas start attacking him. We assume this is the fish used for the sushi. It definitely is. But it comes alive. Does it start talking to him? I can't remember. I think it roars at him. It's like growing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then it lunges at him and grabs him by the neck and And it eats his throat and and rips his throat. I don't, mi- I don't miss having a job. Around. Yeah, and there's oh a God, lot of blood cool. that he yeah. loses as well. They love to squirt blood in this movie. <laughs> I don't miss having a job where you have to go into a walk-in on a regular basis. I was always worried the door was going to shut behind me and I'd be stuck in there. I thought about it every time I had to go in there. See, I was the one that would go in there to cool off. I was yeah. Cool well, now, well, yeah. I, yeah, I did too, but like, I would have like a brick you know, to keep the door propped so that it wouldn't shut completely on you me. Just but... shove one of those frozen barracudas in yeah. there. Yeah. And that door will never close. <laughs> That's all right. I'm surprised it was so, uh, so mobile. Mobile. Uh, I mean, and when it's possessed by yeah. a, a spa ghost. Well, the spa ghost is also the potential is limitless. <laughs> Jealousy is the mo- the the reason here because Catherine wants uh, Michael to join her in the afterlife. Yes. Join me in the inferno. We can be together. We can and- go to hell together. <laughs> She's making it sound very yes. inviting. So tempting. So yeah, so very tempting. And to do that, I'm sorry, she- my dead ex wife came here to yell at me that I should come to hell with her. <laughs> Bliss. <laughs> and then. She traps Laura in the tanning bed. Right. And starts roasting her alive. And we're like, oh no, she's getting burned she's again. Like, kind yeah. of. She's like, either you kill yourself and join me, or she dies. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But then is. but then she also gets mad when he chooses to save her. Because he's like, save her first, and then I'll do it. She's like, you'd kill yourself for her. But not she for throws me. a temper tantrum. Yeah, so and then just, even though he's doing what she wants, she's still mad at him for it. Yeah. She, yeah, he can't it wasn't, really. It wasn't genuine. He, he didn't want her just to want her. He was trying to save Laura. Mad. And then all of a sudden, can't win. David no. is there again, sitting at the controls. Right. And so he's like, well, I can reason with David. David, yeah. you got to snap out of it. Fight it, David. And then we get that scene the head, it, they didn't have a morph at this point in time. Mm. So I don't know what the hell they're doing here with the overlays that basically yeah, fade in, fade out. Yeah, but it's like they both have this goofy, like, uh, you know, the one actor and the actress are the superimposed and they're like this Rah! you know look. together yeah it's great <laughs> um and then uh so Catherine eventually takes back over again and uh michael has to come up with some way to beat her yep mm-hmm. in the middle of all this we get a breaking into an office people are getting clubbed with 
little statues. We don't know who they are. The lawyers, the lawyer breaks into an office to steal files. So does his business partner, the other woman. Yeah. Who's dressed as the same also thing. a clown yeah. as the same thing yeah as we were confused Mike, as who yeah who. i was confused who got was like that yeah. michael getting well because he thought it was michael he yeah, clocked yeah. Her after afterwards i realized what they were trying to do she knew what costume michael was gonna have so she got the same one yeah. to try to get there first and get the stuff so that he wouldn't fuck him over because she felt bad and yeah. wanted to yeah. give up the whole plan she, right because she thinks he's yeah. going too far yeah 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 but it, didn't, it thinks, didn't play yeah. but that's what was yeah. supposed <laughs> to happen you are correct <laughs> And uh, Michael gets the bright idea that the way to kill this thing, to kill your your spooky ghost ex wife, yep. is cut her power. And so off I he- really thought the brooch was going to come back into play. I know because yeah. what the hell? There's a close up. Yeah, there's a, a close up of the brooch. Ken Foray tackles her at some point, and, and there's that close up. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's jumping through windows and shit in this. We didn't talk about his jacket at all. Oh, that's oh, a great, that's a very great nice jacket. jacket. It's, it's jacket. like. But I think it's a spot jacket because it's I saw a the blue. Yeah, it's like a blue it. spot. It's like it's their a uniform, uniform it's like jacket. A uniform, yeah. yeah, but like it has the widest round collar, collar right, rainbow, collar. like rainbow stripes. It it looks like his head is emerging from he looks something. Like, a like center honoring. Yeah. Yes. Like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's what he looks like. Like he's because like celebrated. the size is yeah <laughs> exaggerated. Yeah. Uh, um, I only brought up the the woman business partner before because uh, we cannot. Uh, leave this podcast without describing her end. Uh, after she is uh, oh, knocked out, I and then she comes about to this. right. We cannot yeah. forget about this. She comes through. She's got a wound in her head. She's checking it out in the mirror, which starts like pulsating, vibrating yeah. and pulsating and all that stuff, and then just blows her away. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's right. It's the greatest. Like she, yeah. expl- the she force explodes. Yeah, explodes her. Like you see guts going flying. Yeah. yeah. I it's like the, the shot killer. The shot right after that, it was really fast, but it like started with like her mouth was on the floor and yeah. it panned up from to so yeah. the people who coming in the door going like, What the hell? Yeah. But I'm like <laughs> there's little pieces of her all over the place. So good. Like the money <laughs> cheap movie. Um <laughs> Oh, uh, like seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. That's what yeah. it cost to make. I know wow. the effects aren't yeah. like it's not Tom Savini good. No, but it's but it's still uh, pretty good. The impact I felt yeah. of these, yeah. Like, yeah. it's used well. Good, no, entertaining. Yes, very entertaining. Yeah. She got blown. <laughs> like, and these are out of nowhere because we're just like, well, what's gonna happen? Oh, yeah. What happened Blow to him? Away. He goes and like starts making out with another girl, a naked girl in the spa, and then like his eyes explode all over her, right? And yeah. then she's like, oh, ah. yeah, that's right. And then she's yeah. trapped yeah. The, the burning. The, oh, the it looked like marshmallows <laughs> exploding. It was gross. Yeah. Yeah. She gets caught in there. Yeah. yeah. So the whole thing is on it, fire. Because at this point, it's just Ghost Catherine carrying everybody, right? Like, carry yeah, them, yeah, the yeah. carrying. This is the carry yeah. ending of this. Yeah. yeah. People in the spa are going nuts. Because she's like, oh, 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 She is and does end up in, in the control room, kind of going nuts on everybody. And there we go. Now Michael has found the only way to stop yep. her. Yeah. Yep. Now we're here. Yep. Which is not the brooch. <laughs> it's not the brooch. Not the brooch. <laughs> it also doesn't make sense. Nope. It's a shoe and electricity. Yep. It looks like, yeah. Was Is that what the shoe was for? He was trying I, to ground himself? I, 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 I assumed he was grounding himself. What I was thinking <laughs> what he was doing is partially trying to ground himself, but I think he was putting two cables together, but he didn't want to do it with his bare hands. So he like, it's in the shoe. <laughs> Is where he's putting the wires together so that he will not take the brunt of the electricity. Ma- I thought he was making a bomb. I, 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 <laughs> we had no idea. It looked like it, yeah, but we had I no just, idea what was going on here. Yeah. How this is going to? Well, it does. I mean, he he begins to electrocute. Yeah. something. He's shorting it, out the yeah. system, which Here's is shorting out her. It works. Do, do we know why it works? <laughs> no. No. no, no. How? No. She gets it, sent it, on it works. fire, right? And yeah. apparently boils down to like uh, another crispy, goopy, a gooey, thing. crispy yeah. corpse. Yeah. And Who keeps moving around? Because I'm not sure. Like eye explodes. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. Our final death because low? at this point, I mean, this is David's body that it's, but her spirit's still in there. Yeah. Yeah. So she's still trying to hold on. Yeah. But it's no longer a body she can hold on to. And Michael thinks he solved this whole thing, but there's still like a great white concert situation happening yeah, in the rest of the death spa. Of, because yeah. the building has been on fire for a while. Yes. And I was like, oh, so much this so is that the upsetting. party was going on for a good half hour yep. with the building with the, on yeah, fire, yeah, fire yeah. Yeah. on, on the yeah. roof and everything. And yeah. 
Yeah, great wines. Yeah, I'm like, I was oh, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone's gonna die. They're all it, pressed up against the glass. Yep. Yeah, break the the glass. Yeah. motion shots they can't get out. Yeah, there's shots of the door handle that nobody tries. They're just pounding on the door. Yeah, um, but, but God, that was short a horrible circuits tragedy. Her, which uh, lets them leave. <laughs> yep, and like we're all safe. And then we cut back to her. And she's like, her eyeball explodes, and that's her death blow. Yeah, because well, she's not like a death blow. She says something like, "You, you tried your best, Michael, yeah. <laughs> or whatever." And that's it. And then she starts to get up, and then we freeze frame, yeah. and that's the end of the movie. That's but at it. least those two lovebirds, Michael and Laura. Well, Laura's uh, pretty pretty red at this point, you know, from the exposure. oh yeah, she's been roasted. Yeah, yeah. can you walk? Mm, she's fine. Uh, get her some medical attention. And but- Marvin's fine. Yeah, yeah, Ken Free's fine. He also survives, yeah. right? Yep. yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I think did. those are the three we see at the end. Yeah, and yeah. the and the female cop. Right. And we're like, okay, woof, man, that was yeah. a night right there for the. <laughs> the <laughs> that was an dust. ordeal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. I guess that brings us to the end of the movie. I guess so. The uh, the blonde got killed, didn't she? The one who was Which in the spa. One? <laughs> yeah, well, she burned. In Did she the, burn yeah. at the end? Yeah, because we, we cut back well, to her for a reason. Well, we see multiple people burning, but I think one of them was her. It's supposed to okay. be. It's just like a skeletal thing on yeah. fire. You're like, oh, that's her in the. Okay. Yeah. yeah Editing, what, a, what a night. Maybe not so, you know, clear uh, <laughs> on what's happening. Um, when you, I mean, we have Holly to fill in the gaps. So yeah. Yeah. That's, appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you. you. Um, that's why I'm here. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to uh, tell you what we thought of Death Spa and whether or not we would recommend it to you. But first, we're going to read some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman, Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Igor, have you been working out? Do you he, think he's ever been to a death spa? Well, he does have leotards. Lots yeah. of them. True. So. Can you imagine him doing some, like... He's been to Jamie Lee Curtis's class. <laughs> in Perfect? Yeah. He right, was, yeah. He's an extra in Perfect. Where, where yeah. do you think she got that choreography? Well, right. that's very true. In, in, a, in, a, <laughs> in another life. Is that Igor. the double feature Perfect in Death Spa? I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, it is. So. Triple feature this. killer workout or uh, not necessarily. Uh, no, I don't think so. Eh, no, I think you get uh, that's that's the all night drive in part where you leave. Yeah, yeah. Those yeah. movies will give you everything you need. Yeah, I think. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, uh, we should probably uh, remind folks at home how they can participate on this uh, interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook, facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show, or Twitter at Sat Freak Show, or they can email us Saturday Night Freak Show at yahoo.com, or follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. I uh, bet we could cut together. Perfect and Despa. Oh, I'm sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Sean's wheels are turning. <laughs> continue, continue. A project. Look for it next weekend. Um, we are the remiss because MF <laughs> Man, the, uh, the keeper of the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, informs us that Sherry Shattuck, ah. Shattuck? Shattuck. Uh, is now on the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame. She played Catherine in this movie, yes. but we have seen her before in arena you remember arena T- no uh, nope. no i was not here for that uh, Stuart gordon or no it was i know the Trump movie yeah yeah, yeah. i've I not, not seen that i don't think i was here for that and uninvited oh, oh. yeah all Which right the russian doll of cats cats yeah. on the boat yeah. cats on the boat okay the george kennedy wow, she's right. got two prizes under her belt yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> uh that was like the same year as this i think yeah. right it what a good year for her mm-hmm. right <laughs> Uh, yeah, about girl. <laughs> tonight's movie, uh, Death Spa, Loudy Out says, yay, you guys are finally doing this movie. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts about this crazy little movie. Yay. No, thanks. <laughs> thanks for writing in. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, Death Spa, located right next to Kill Jim and Murder Auto Tags, all <laughs> conveniently located in the beautiful evil shopping plaza off Route 9. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yep. I like it. Um... So we're doing an accelerated mailbag uh, this week, so uh, we haven't heard anything about our last movie, but two weeks ago we watched a movie called Hellbound, and Michael Whitaker also said, uh, Chuck Norris. Oh, here we go. <laughs> has a mug full of nails instead of coffee in the morning. I didn't, I read that one. I didn't like it. Chuck <laughs> Norris can dribble a bowling ball. That's, okay. <laughs> that, okay, the yeah. visual of that is funny. I like that. Chuck Norris is the reason Waldo is hiding. Yeah, That's a good one. That one. We like that one. 
Okay. Grant Parrish said, uh, <laughs> roundhouse kicking the uh, quote unquote devil back to hell is not good, but it's great. For, this is uh, from Hellbound with John I, Yeah, I wish. Yeah. I wish that's what we got. Me too. Uh, Elika in a lot says Chuck Norris's daughter lost her virginity, but he found it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, something. I was gonna say. Well, I've heard some version of that where like, or he got it back. He yeah, got yeah, it yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Sorry, that's what it said. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nope, they're, um, they're all so <laughs> gross. Yeah. Uh, Scraw <laughs> seven ninety three says Chuck Norris doesn't worry about high gas prices. His vehicles run on fear. <laughs> Uh, Travis Legler says the original Chuck Norris fact list contained so many de- descriptions of depraved sex acts that even E.L. James called and asked them to tone it down. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a contemporary one that I can get on board with. He also says Chuck Norris does not hunt because the word hunting implies a chance of success. Chuck Norris wanders around aimlessly with a gun. <laughs> you can't see it, but I'm putting up a noose. Right now. <laughs> yeah. If these continue to go. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. I, <laughs> yeah, thank I you. appreciated I each and every one of those. I just, Colin appreciates I just it. Tapped out it's like a fucking <laughs> holiday when a Chuck Norris movie comes on this show. It's like a holiday for a month. There's residue <laughs> I know. from this holiday. It's great. It's just like how people are still. Chuck Norris's residue. It, it's just like how people are still setting off fireworks, even though it's yes. July, whatever. It's yes. like, it's like, all right. Holiday came and went, guys. And an yeah. to Chuck Norris. <laughs> yeah, it's like getting detention for something your friends did. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's what it's like. You you watched the movie. You participated. <laughs> I didn't pick it. <laughs> All right then. Well, I suppose that means that we're gonna go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie, Death Spa. Starting with Kayla. Would you go to the Death Spa? Uh, you know. I would because the architecture is pretty dope. I, I would probably just go and, and hang out at that juice bar and kind of like mm. listen around for the gossip because, you know, like there's a bunch of other side plots going on in oh, this yeah. movie of crazy stuff that I would also like to know about. Um, I mean, yeah, this is like a, a once in a lifetime time capsule, right? Like <laughs> health clubs of the 80s. We got like three or four at least movies that I know of about them, which is like I love that. I love time capsule shit like that. So, I mean. I agree, Colin. I do think it is one of the most 80s movies we've ever watched. The look, the feel, the like attitude, the the insults, like all of it. Like it's it's just a lot of fun. It's delightful. It's weird. It it has jarring edits that make no sense. Yep. It's everything you could want in a freak show movie, so you got to watch it. I think you got to watch it. Holly, what would you think? Uh, this movie was confusing nonsense. Um, I still don't know what we just watched, but I loved every second of it. <laughs> Um, this may be a perfect movie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like I have nothing to say because I'm like no notes. Yeah, like, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this was. I mean, like, like, like I, I said earlier, you have to just go for this ride. Don't look for logic. Don't, don't question it. No. You can ask your question, but don't but expect it an answer. Yeah, it won't be answered. <laughs> just go with it. You say, did that just happen? Yes. Okay. You just say okay and move on. That's yeah. it. This like at a regular spa. Yeah, pretty Did much. Did that just happen? My, only my experience. Okay. What <laughs> <laughs> spa do you go to? <laughs> the Death Spa, Holly. Mm, mm. Yeah, Death Spa. I, I'm gonna fucking recommend this movie. This is great. Absolutely, Colin. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, a. Uh, I was entertained as all hell throughout this movie, but it's like, it's not good. I mean, it's, uh, you know, like, no, it's terrible, guess, but you know what I did like, I liked all the people in it. Yep. It gave me, I guess, the things that I like about movies. It had, uh, you know, people that I know and like it had, I mean, lots of nude scenes. It had gory deaths. It ended with a fire, which I think, like, you know, they, you they, we've established that movies are better if they end with a fire than, yes. than those that don't. Um, it's the only way to stop a possession as well. There's a reason people say burn it with fire. Yeah. yeah. Goofy 80s synth music, the big hair, the fashions. I mean, the, yeah. the 80s time capsule. It's a lot of fun that way. It, yeah. It d- does it make sense? I mean, it seems like they're trying to go for something, but yeah, it's the editing or the direction or you're just like whiplash you're like i'm not sure what i'm looking at right here but that was part of the charm or the fun of it Mm -hmm. because and i know we've spoiled it for you good folks at home but (laughs) i mean part of it was just kind of going like what are we watching (laughs) you know as it as it kept going and then it built to that um you know crazy gonzo conclusion i guess because for a while there i'm like are we getting served here by you know the promise of this but 
these movies have that structure where they pay off at the end in like some big way. And it's right. Like, and it's usually like that last 20 minutes. It's like, ooh. All right, yeah. It's not somebody for? running around in a house, you know, with a ghost like blowing stuff up. It's like a bunch of people, fire, crazy lights, death, uh, mm-hmm. things exploding out of people's faces and all that. I yeah. mean, it's high energy, you know, I like the like 80s. Th- I feel like movies like this are why we do this show. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right. Yeah. This like, is this capital is F free yeah. yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's uh, there. You go. It's a stamp of this is what a Saturday night free show movie is. Yeah. Uh, so I guess for that way, I would recommend it. Sean, what do you think? I guess so. Um, you do kind of get everything from this movie, yeah. and you wouldn't expect it because it's Death Spa, and I never expected half Nothing the things. Nothing in that this happened. movie is expected. No, not really. Nothing. Like <laughs> the fact that we got a spa run by a, a, a computer nerve center in this thing. It's it's a wild movie. Um, it's uh, yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I like the actors in this. Um, it, it's a, a cheap movie, but it. I mean, they spent the money well. It would seem, and they put it in the right spots. It's. I mean, it's confusing as all hell, but it's just fun to sit through and experience. Um, yeah, this movie's wild. Uh, it's fun. Um, I would watch this again. That lady getting blown <laughs> away with that mirror is just great. Yeah. It's 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 a fiasco, but it's very funny. Um, yeah, you you have to watch that spot. Yeah, it's, uh, it's peak. <laughs> it's peak. It's it's, it's 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 yeah. You have to. All right. Well, that was a surprise. Uh, the whole thing was a surprise. I'm yeah. very surprised with this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was delighted. But it sounds like, how does it hold up on a second watch, Michaela? Oh, it's delightful every time. <laughs> somebody, somebody put this out somewhere? I they have to, Well, right? I said it was on the Arrow channel, so I yeah. assume they uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to look into And we watched that, this, an I HD think. version that was on we Amazon. We did. So, it looked yeah. nice. I'd love to watch this at a drive-in. It'd be so Oh, that'd be, this yeah. would be a great yeah. drive-in drive-in movie. Movie. Oh, yeah, yeah for, for sure. sure. Uh, okay, well, I guess it's a uh, freak show recommended, and that those are the rules. You have to watch it. You won't be disappointed. Legally binding. Yeah. Yep. We'll All find right. you. <laughs> so, uh, I think uh, if you don't watch it, Catherine is going to make a visit to you. Mm-hmm. Yep. There you go. Yeah. The threat of not watching Death Spa. Mm-hmm. So, next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Holly. When are we going to watch next week? Next week, we have to check a box Ooh. that um, I've had. Since I was Born? a child. Okay. Oh, bo- oh, wow. oh, all right. Because yes. this is the only movie I've ever walked out of because my mom made me. Uh, she made you walk out? <laughs> yep. And oh. I haven't seen it since. Oh, wow. So we are watching Johnny Newmont. All uh, right. Uh, About time. About time. I don't know if I've seen this There's a dolphin in this movie, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. All right. I have seen it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Holly's like, I don't know. I didn't make it that far. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're gonna we're gonna uh, yeah unpack Johnny Mnemonic <laughs> uh, next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. We hope that you'll join us for that. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.